How can you let you know, 52% of your students, one in every two students, failing your, your English, math, and science class, and even 28% even is too high for social studies. My name is Greg Green, and I am Clintondale High School principal and curriculum coordinator for grades six through 12. When we evaluated our failure rate last year from our freshmen, we found that in English language arts, our freshmen were failing at a 52% rate. And in mathematics, they were failing at a 44% rate, uh, science at a 41% rate, and then uh, social studies at 28% rate. And, and as a principal, it's, it's just unconscionable to have that going on in your building. To continue doing the same thing and think you're going to get a different result is, isn't going to work. So uh, we sat down and we said we got to try something different. Because we felt like the class time, you know, was probably the most crucial time that we had with students. We decided to flip it and, and try spending more time working with the students in class and having them get the lecture and the lessons at home. This allows us to get more one-on-one -on -one time with them. You know, I'm not speaking to a mass group. By having homework done there within class, we quadrupled the time that students and the teachers actually work together in, you know, going over and learning the information. Uh, my name is Mike Warren Wright. I came here when I was in eighth grade, you know, coming from Detroit Public Schools, you know, it's real different. Why'd so, you come from Detroit? Yeah, you know, last, last year my Quan was a freshman in, in the class and, and he was struggling and uh, he'd have a problem and say problem number one was difficult for him. He couldn't do it at home so he would give up. So his, all of his homework was, was empty, it was blank. Well now I'm sitting there, I can see his frustration, I can go help him, I can get him past number one. Now he can do two, three, four, five. He's got trouble with problem number six again, I can help him. Um, you know, but the biggest surprise is, is the results. When we did go to the flip model, um, we had no failures. No one failed. I have, there's a kid now, unfortunately, he doesn't go here anymore because you know he just was that far behind. He had to go to an alternative high school. But it was the only class he passed here in the high school. By reversing the instructional model, what we did is we actually seen a dramatic reduction in the percentage of students who are failing. And in EOA, the percentage just went from 52% to 19%. In math, we went from 44% to 13%. And in science, we went from 41% to 19%. And in social studies, we went from 28 to actually under 10%. And so what we've seen is a, is a, is a huge reduction in failure by reversing the instructional model, which doesn't cost any money. My name is Greg Green. I'm a principal. I'm a husband, I'm a father, and I'm using Wacken tablets for my high school.